locked in and ready to go. And it's just going to be a game that we need to win. Our mindset, you know, from the beginning of the, uh, the playoffs was to win a championship. We still have a lot of things that we need to accomplish in order for us to become world champions. Close it out at home, you know, in front of our fans, you know, would mean a lot to us. Bruce Brown lays it up and in. We have another game that we have to win. And to close that game is always the hardest game ever. Answers with another three. We can do something special for this organization and for this town uh, and this city uh, by winning their first champion, uh, championship. We want to win in front of our home crowd, finish it out here. Finish it out here. Yes, tonight is the night here at Ball Arena. Nuggets are warming up. There was a big, huge cheer when Nikola Jokic landed on the floor. He's here, we're all set to go. Tonight's the night the Nuggets can win their first ever NBA championship tonight because it is game five of the NBA Finals right here at Ball Arena. Good evening, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us for Denver 7 News at 5. I'm Andrew Hill. And I'm Shannon Ogden. Tip off game five, less than two hours away. Of course, Nuggets up 3-1 over the heat. So if the home team wins tonight, they will be crowned NBA champions tonight. And we're excited about that. We have team coverage ahead of tonight's game. We will, of course, check back in with Shannon and everyone else here in just a few minutes. But first, again, I'm here at Ball Arena. There is just a different feeling in the air tonight. Players and fans, they have their game faces on. They have their towels out here ready to go that we're hoping are good luck tonight. We know that the sound checks have been complete. Nathaniel Rateliff and the Night Sweats, they will be singing the national anthem tonight. So all systems go here at Ball Arena as the Nuggets try to win their first title in 47 years in the league. Now we talked to Denver Mayor Michael Hancock about what it would mean for the Mile High City if the Nuggets win. We're a sports town. Uh, we love our professional teams. Uh, we got to get our Nuggets over the hump. I thought, quite frankly, that the Rockies will win a World Series before the Nuggets won the NBA crown. But hey, we'll take it. And we're very proud of Denver Nuggets. As a lifelong fan, this is a moment we've been waiting for. Hey, Nuggets fans, they are excited. They are determined. In fact, let's go outside to Brooklyn's check in with Shannon. We know, Shannon, those fans are fired up and ready for tonight. They're so excited. And as I have said throughout the playoffs and throughout the finals, I'm live at Brooklyn's across the street from Ball Arena. This has become my home away from home. Become very close with the staff here through all the many nights here. They're great. Lisa and Dave and Bem and Jazz, are, and, and they're so, so wonderful. But I think it's about time we take a break. Nuggets, wrap this thing up tonight. It will be over, but then we will all get back here and do this from Brooklyn's again next year. So I, I, I have a feeling, fingers crossed, this might be my last report from Brooklyn's for some time. All right, we have an instant poll for you tonight. Our megaphone question is, are you ready? If the Nuggets win the championship tonight, who will be MVP? So just scan the QR code there on your screen, or you can go to denver7.com slash vote now, and you can let us know who you think is going to be MVP of these finals if they win tonight. Team coverage right now, Denver 7's Russell Haythorn at Playoff Plaza right in the middle of it all. Russell? Playoff Plaza, Shannon, and these fans are not letting the cold weather or the rain dampen their spirits about Game 5 tonight. The Nuggets could lock it all up with a win tonight and take home their first NBA championship ever. And I've got my Nuggets Nation as usual. This is Jess, Gemma, and Constantine. And then I've got Trisha over here, is that right? Yes, go it, Nuggets! Okay, Constantine, tell me about the face. We actually have face painting right over here, right? Yes. Who are you tonight and what's going on? Rocky. Maybe you'll get a mascot gig in there, do you yeah, think? Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully. J Jenna, Gemma. tell us about uh, just being here and part of this moment. Well, for my son's 11th birthday, we brought him out to Denver to see his aunt who lives here and celebrate with his uncle who's like the number one Nugs fan. And they have a baby at home this year, so we're hoping for his first birthday that we get to bring home the baby. And Jess, you're the one who lives here. I am. I'm the one that lives here. My husband, Mike Wilson, number one Nuggets fan in Denver, watching our baby right now. Or maybe you might have an argument to make on that. Yeah. You guys are big Nuggets fans as well, right? And you're going to the game tonight. How amazing is this? Oh, this is so amazing. We've been waiting. I've been waiting my whole life, 33 years. We've been going ever since. McNichols, there was Just nobody in the stands. We were, we were shooting right? spitballs. Yes, Rocky was the best and always the best get ever.
And he, we've, we've been following the Nuggets our whole lives. Too we've easy for this. these kids. Too easy. I've been waiting 60 years. Okay, that's longer, but I used to come to the Rockets games. Oh, wow. at the At the... You deserve this. You deserve this. We all deserve it. Go Nuggets. We've got... We've got our... We've got our matching chains on tonight. And uh, we're ready in Playoff Plaza. We're ready to bring this thing home tonight. We'll toss it back to you guys. I like that too. Channel to point out that has not been mentioned during this playoff. Russell's unbelievable ability to remember the names of fans he talks to. So impressive. All right, and we're going to uh, cut away from Brooklyn's just for a few minutes and send it over to you. And uh, we'll see you right back here in a few minutes. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Shannon. We're going to check in now with Denver 7 Sports Director Lionel Bienvenu, who's back in studio. Lionel, uh, we're talking four quarters away from a championship. We are oh so close. Yeah, they're so close they can taste the champagne already. They can see the Larry O'Brien trophy being raised at Ball Arena. But wait, there's still work to do. As we found out in game two, nobody just shows up and wins. Uh, and nobody wants to go back to Miami for a game six on Thursday. The Nuggets need to seize this opportunity, finish the heat tonight. Don't give them any life or hope. When they're on the ropes, deliver the knockout punch. Don't take your foot off the gas until you cross the finish line. So let's check the road to a ring, sponsored by Bet365. Nuggets are eight and a half point favorites tonight at Ball Arena. And here's Coach Michael Malone talking about the always tough closeout game and how they have to approach this one tonight. My biggest concern going into any closeout game is human nature and fighting against that. You know, you're up 3-1, and, you know, there's, there's, it's a, most teams, when you're up 3-1, they come up for air, they relax, and they, they just kind of take it for granted that, oh, we're, we're going to win this. Our approach has to be that we're down 3-1. You know, they're desperate, we have to be more desperate. They're hungry, we have to be hungrier. Take it in small bites, and if you do that possession by possession, quarter by quarter, hopefully when 48 minutes are over, you've done what you needed to do. That's the Road to a Ring, sponsored by Bet365. And again, the Nuggets are favored by eight and a half points over the Heat in tonight's Game 5. So let's go live to Ball Arena and join sports anchor Nick Rothschild. And Nick, we saw this exact same scenario a year ago. The Avalanche were up 3-1 on the Lightning, a chance to win the Cup in Game 5 at home at Ball Arena. And the Lightning won. You had to go back to Tampa. Everybody went back to Tampa. And the Avs won the Cup in Game 6 on the road. But nobody wants to see that happen again. Yeah, can we not, Lionel? Look, I just, <laughs> yeah, just about right now stopped sweating thanks to that South Florida humidity. So I'm leading team. Let's not go back to Miami, okay? There's a lot going on here tonight, right? The emotions of a closeout game combined with the, well, we'll call it the energy from the crowd here at Ball Arena. And it's mixed with the history that this night could represent. So, yeah, these Nuggets players are going to have a lot to contend with as they try to keep their emotions in check. Any closeout game is a really big opportunity. Um, and like I said, just to be able to do it in Denver, um, you know, would mean the world to us. So we're going to come out here um, with the same approach, the same, you know, hungry uh, mentality. Um, and that, that's, that's the biggest part is don't have a letdown game. Um, just come out here, be humble, uh, be hungry, and finish the job. I think it's not going to be emotions. It's going to be a job that we need to do to be done, you know. Uh, I think you're ready. We're going to be locked in and ready to go. It's just going to be a game that we need to win. Okay, so uh, maybe Nikola Jokic doesn't need any help keeping his emotions in check. Nothing bothers that guy. But outside of Jokic, this is the game you got KCP for, right? If you're the Nuggets, he's been here before. He's been in this game before. He must have some insight into how to navigate the swirling emotions and energy that could be both a benefit and a hindrance for Denver tonight. Kenny Pope has a simple message for his team tonight. Focus and finish. Our mindset, you know, from the beginning of the, uh, the playoffs was to win a championship. Uh, we know we won game away, and uh, I'm always telling my teammates, you know, don't don't get on the one yard line and fumble the ball. Uh, so we here, uh, like I keep saying, just enjoy the moment, uh, and we know we're gonna we're gonna come out and play as hard as we can. Like we down three one. I'm going to add friendship as the final F to that word trio because friendship and camaraderie is what this team is built on. It's the secret sauce. So, Lionel, whatever storm comes their way tonight in game five, I am sure they will weather it together. And I'm thinking that road to a ring or road to a championship may end 
here at Ball Arena this evening. Back to you. All right, thank you very much, Nick. Coming up later, uh, we'll go back to Nick at the Ball Arena and talk about the heat and the desperation that comes with an elimination game. It looks like Tyler Hero will play tonight after missing almost the entire playoffs with a broken hand. He averaged 20 points a game in the regular season. We'll see how that affects game five tonight. Right now, let's go back to Andrew Hio at Ball Arena. Yeah, and there is definitely, Lionel, a different feeling here at Ball Arena tonight. Games one and two, a little more festive now. I think there's there's definitely some focus here on the floor. Now, assuming the Nuggets seal their championship in game five tonight, you know that fans will be dispersing throughout downtown to get out and celebrate. The hope, of course, is for the Nuggets to uh, win championships, not just tonight, but in the future. And a lot of the party could then happen right outside Ball Arena. Well, our Rob Harris gives us an update on the River Mile Project, or as it's been nicknamed by some, the Sports Mile. After any big event at Ball Arena, whether it's a concert or, I don't know, maybe the Game 5 of the NBA Finals, we see a mass exodus of people leaving Ball Arena for other parts of town, walking, driving, and scootering, and that leads to some serious traffic backups on Spear. But the future of Denver is hopefully one where more of us stay in the neighborhood before, during, and after these big events. I think that could become the epic center, if you will, I mean, of the celebrations. Um, and it certainly will give a picturesque and a very enjoyable space for people to have a good time. It's gonna be called the River Mile, and you probably heard a little bit about it, but picture this, where you see Elitch Gardens today, in the future you'll be seeing something like this, a mix of residential, stores, dining, and open space, plus a transit plaza that'll have light rail connections to spots throughout Denver and DIA. The plaza will be connected to Ball Arena by a bridge for Nuggets and Avs fans. We're very excited about going forward. Denver's future is very bright on across the, all the professional teams in our city. Of course, the big question we all have is when is this going to happen? And I don't have any solid updates on that. I did reach out to Elitch Gardens to see if there's a closure date for the park, but I was told no, there is not. Quote, the park will be in its current location for the foreseeable future. I did hear from a spokesperson for the developers of the River Mile. I was told they're looking at a timeline for the entire project of about 20 years, but that will depend on things like economic and market circumstances. The next step in the process, though, is to submit a rezoning application with the city. And I'm told that could happen this summer. For Denver 7, I'm Rob Harris. Of course, the focus right now is right here, right now inside Ball Arena and that countdown clock that we are all watching with 77 minutes to go till tip off. Let's go back to the studio now with Denver 7's Jessica Porter. The Jess. nerves are definitely starting to set in and thank you so much. And don't forget, you can watch tonight's game right here on Denver 7. We'll have more coverage coming up. Tip off from Ball Arena is at 630.